What do I exactly do in this warehouse for 40 to 60 hours a week? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going over some of the strategies that I'm implementing this year to help me achieve over $200,000 in sales reselling used clothes on eBay. So I have been up to a lot of things here, setting up shelves, picking up more inventory to help process through this system. And I'm bringing you along with me today to help show you what items that are selling in our store right now and giving you some updates onto some of the changes that I'm doing here in this business to help me achieve my goals this year, but build for the future for the next five, 10 years. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that sold was this G-Star Raw jacket sold for $150 plus shipping. If you are not familiar with G-Star Raw, I would be because this is a great brand to be picking up for reselling. This was new with tags and it was part of a bulk storage unit buyout, but happy to get rid of these jackets before it starts warming up. It is a ripstop cotton jacket, Nothing special about it, but like I said, this brand is really good to be on the lookout for if you're able to find that brand there. There we go. So just this week, I cleared out a storage unit that I had many of my items sitting in just because I didn't have the space. And now that we've moved to this warehouse, I'm able to start processing some of these items. But as with buying storage units and items in bulk, you are left with items that you don't usually sell. You know, things like uh, canteens, um, mugs, uh, kitchenware, glassware. I mean, there's, there's stuff like you name it, you know, um, Pelican cases, you know, as cool as it is to sell that stuff, you know, I'm a used clothing seller. I don't sell that stuff. Or I do have other reseller friends that are in the area that would be interested and I just basically wholesale them anything that I don't resell because it would take me a lot of time to be looking up these items, to be able to price them accurately, to be able to come up with the proper keywords for these items to create titles so they get sold. And you know, if you are buying bulk, that is the downside is you really need to figure out where are these items gonna be going because you don't want this type of stuff clogging up your system you know so we have about 20 extra large u-haul boxes here that are going to go to our reselling friends and this space is going to be cleared out here and it's going to be a processing area for future bales of clothing that are going to be coming in and if you see right behind me here this is the clothing that came from that storage unit that have yet to be processed. So I bought about 10,000 pounds of clothing last August and I sorted through, I'd say about 5,000 pounds that I kept. So that is all this here, still needing to be processed, but thankfully I'm not paying that $150 a month for that storage unit. So. You can see here is just full with clothes that are waiting to be processed and ready to go. So just wanted to give you an update because there has been a lot going on here and I wish that I could jump on to update you guys more. Um, I do wanna be showing you more behind the scenes as far as how things go around here. Um, this here is just processing. All this is processing area, processing, processing. This is waiting to be photographed here on the photo station. This is more processing here. Um, I usually have about 400, 500 pieces of clothing that get stacked up so it helps get some of the wrinkles out. If you wanna know the types of brands that I'm on the lookout for on a weekly basis, you could check out the free ebook down in the description down below where it goes over my top 50 brands in 2023 to resell on eBay. Included in that is the current sell through rates and a brief description of each brand so you know what types of categories that that brand specializes in so you can be on the lookout when you're sourcing. You can download it straight to your phone so you're able to just quickly look through to see if that brand is on my brand list and you can get a good idea of what the generalized sell through rates are. So like I said, you could check it out in the linked comment down below, and I'm sure it can be helpful for you, especially if you are a new beginner reseller. And hopefully you can find some of those brands as well. I don't pick up this brand very often, but the brand is Brandini. Hopefully you could see that. It's a wool lightweight coat, sold for $22 plus shipping, new with tags. Um, anything that is wool, I'll always pick it up, no matter the brand, just because I know that the materials are sought after. The old inventory system, you know, D6, D8, D9, looking through that, yeah, I don't miss doing that. But unfortunately, 
you know, I have to keep them in these bins so they stay organized. All of these items are on 50, 60, 70% off on eBay. Just looking to get these items moving and grooving out of here so I could clear up more space for more inventory coming in. Here we have coats, uh, about 50 coats per rack, so about 200 coats. And those are items that can't fit in my inventory shelving and that have to go on racks. And a uh, majority of these coats are, uh, you know, just mixed blazers, uh, soft shell coats. There's some um, dress coats. There's some hoodies. Just anything that wouldn't fit on these racks will go on the coat rack um, and just make sure that they're organized, you know, rack one, rack two, rack three, and so forth. So I'm able to find those coats when they do sell. Um, shoes, I don't pick up too many shoes anymore, but here's the shoe rack. Um, I will only pick up shoes if they're new or need no cleaning, and that's how I'll pick up shoes. But otherwise, I'm really not a big shoe reseller. Mainly just women's pre-owned clothing and men's pre-owned clothing. That's it. So, and here's the shipping station. Kind of looks a little crazy right now, but um, really having an organized spot is the key to be able to make sure your items are going from point A to point B. You don't want these items to be getting lost in the mail. You don't want to be running out of packing tape and bubble mailers and the things that you need to be able to fulfill these orders. So we have 29 orders going out today, totaling $612. Hopefully you can see that. And, you know, just really keeping things organized is key for me so I know where things are and I know what tasks need to complete it to be completed next. So this brand is hit and miss for me, but I do pick it up if the jeans are in good condition. This is Wrangler men's jeans, sold for $10 plus shipping. A lot of these items I'm paying anywhere between 15 cents an item to $1.50 an item. And that's usually just kind of the average depending on how much I'm buying at the time. This is a lower end brand for me. These Volcom shorts sold for $9 plus shipping. I pick up their board shorts, swim trunks, and chino shorts between 50 cents to $1 turning that into $8 plus shipping. I'm happy with that. This is Simply Vera by Vera Wang. This is some women's sleepwear, a top and a bottom, sold for $15 plus shipping. I pick up this brand if it's less than 50 cents to a dollar. That's kind of my price point for this brand here. These Tommy Hilfiger wool pants, cargo, sold for $28 plus shipping. They were still new with tags. I always pick up Tommy Hilfiger really no matter what, unless it has stains or holes. It's a foundational brand for my business. Having a like reject station. This is where clothing gets washed here. All this uh, gets washed on a weekly basis, you know, stains, some simple stuff like that. Um, and then I also have a reject box where there is a program called Just Porch It. I'll put a link right here. And they are a family owned business that has expanded all through the West Coast. Awesome story, but to get right to it, they just basically run a, a clothing recyclable company where they come and they pick up your clothes to be recycled to avoid clothing going into landfills. It is awesome to find someone where they can come pick up your clothes that you don't want and you know that they're gonna be used for insulation, they're gonna to go to secondhand stores, they're gonna to go to um, rescue centers. You know, this is a, a great option to be able to avoid having to drive to Goodwill to drop off all this stuff. I'm having to process about seven to 10,000 pieces of clothing per month to be able to find my goal of 1,500 items a month. I list about 50 items a day on eBay so that means I need about 300 to 400 pieces a week of clothing. So basically I'm needing to sort through about 7,000 pieces of clothing to be able to find 1,500 pieces to be able to resell on eBay. And that's sticking to my brand list. Those are picking out items that I want to resell and then looking for homes for the place for the pieces that I reject and that I don't want. So just porch it is just a way that I can discard a lot of the items that I'm not going to be selling and not wanting to put in my eBay store. So there's a lot to go on here, a lot to catch up on. Um, you know, really just wanting to fill you in on what's going on and uh, you know having more behind the scenes and and teaching you more about what it is to what it takes to run a six-figure 
clothing reselling business. You know, I don't sell anything fancy or anything special. You know, just simple Levi's, Carhartt, vintage Wranglers, you know, stuff like that. And it's, it's just the common items lead to common sales, guys. It's nothing special. For me, a home run is $20. A $20 sale for me is a home run. So I'm not looking for the Gucci. I'm not looking for the Louis Vuitton. Though it is great, I'm looking for common items to lead to common sales. This Kango hat sold for $28 plus shipping. It came from that storage unit buyout, new with tags. Kango is a definitely a decent brand to pick up when it comes to their hats. Uh, good average sale price. Happy to get these things moving. There is the brand. One thing that's been helpful for me is buying these boxes. They are eight. They are 32 by eight by eight. And I hold my pending orders that I get you know, through the, through the day, I, you know, line them up in order to make sure that when it comes to shipping that they remain in order so I don't mess up any orders and ship items to the wrong address. So these boxes are awesome. I buy them in bundles of 200 on Amazon. You can find it linked in the description down below. And if you're looking for some quality boxes that ship to your house quickly. All right, so this Alternative Earth t-shirt sold for $10 plus shipping. Not too familiar with that brand, but it was new with tags. It's 7621. So this is what I love about this inventory system. You just, it's all in numerical order. So we're at 7719, 7685. We're looking at 7621. So we are down here. There we go. 7621, got it. Double check that the order is correct. The last thing you want to be doing is shipping the wrong orders to the wrong places. That's a good way to get your account uh, shut down on eBay. And there it goes. Right into the box, in order. And I just pull the orders how they come in on eBay. So that way when I go to the shipping screen, it's all set for me. So this next one is 1173. I wanna know how is your sales going? How is your reselling business going? What are some strategies that you're putting in place today to help you make progress? You know, this is an awesome opportunity to be reselling online. So I wanna know what things are working for you and what things aren't working for you because we're all in different situations. And I wanna hear from you all because my true passion is helping people get going when it comes to reselling. So this is 11, 723, we are close up here 11723 we got it this is uh just a ralph lauren pullover sold for eleven dollars nine dollars plus shipping had this listed a couple days ago so i've just been really accepting pretty much all offers unless it's like a dollar i've been accepting a lot of offers lately and i've noticed my store has woken up sales have been slow um, but you know, the thing that we can control about slow sales is listing, finding better product, finding quality product, lowering your cost of goods, becoming more efficient. Those are the things that we can control. The thing we can't control is forcing people to buy your items. Don't worry about the things that you can't control, rather initiate the changes that you want to see in your business. And you'll see things will happen. Don't lose, don't lose faith. That's the one thing is you can either be in fear or in faith. You either believe or you don't. All right, so this other sale here is we have this Urban Outfitters crop knit sweater sold for $9 plus shipping. Just listed it three days ago, uh, 11,500. So wondering what you guys do for your inventory system. You know, what, what are you putting in place? What, how do you have your inventory organized? We just hit 5,700 listings, and I'm just going to continue to rock this way just till, till we go to 100,000 items. This is the best inventory system, the best way to or keep things organized. It is very, very, very rare that I lose items. You can check out these shelves in the link in the description. Uh, simple shelves that are about $140 shipped to your house. They hold up to 3,000 pounds. That is the nice part, and they are sturdy. Or you can go with those Husky shelves that work well for other resellers too, though they are a little bit more spendy.
stuff like this that came from that storage unit buyout, you know, this is just like a simple box uh, made out of really nice wood. But then when you turn it over, holy moly, $180 for a box. And that's the type of stuff that was in that storage unit. Just a bunch of like knickknacks and stuff like that would take me years to just find keywords to describe it. You know, I sell clothes, so I stay in my lane. I'm not going to go sell toasters and VCRs and subwoofers. It's like I don't know anything about that stuff. So if I'm buying bulk, I'm definitely going to be looking to wholesale some of that stuff out so I can keep things moving. This is like a, an assembly line. You know, I don't want things that I don't sell to clog up this process. So living in the Pacific Northwest, I find this brand all the time. Decent brand, but you don't expect to make millions off of it. It is a Columbia fleece full zip sweater, so for $10 plus shipping. And it was listed uh, a couple months ago and took a best offer. This brand does decent for me. This is an Andrew Mark women's puffer vest, so for $10 plus shipping. Uh, came from that bulk buyout I did back in August, buying all of those clothes. And I'm still sorting through a lot of those clothes, so you never know what I may find. And if it's a brand like Andrew Mark, I know that I paid less than a dollar for it. And I know that they have decent sell-through rates for the decent average sale price. So I listed this maybe a month ago and took a best offer of 10 bucks. So let's pull this item here, 10, three, 10, five, three, nine. Can't talk. 10, five, three, nine, down here. Oh man, it's 10, five, three, nine. It's way down here. 10, five, three, nine. It might be all the way on the other side. 10, five, three, nine. This vintage Carol Anderson dress sold for $10 plus shipping. So this is an Old Navy active wear top for women, sold for $10 plus shipping. I will only pick up Old Navy if I'm paying less than a dollar. And if the jeans are in good condition and if the active wear tops are in good condition, otherwise most of the items in this brand I will pass on. And if you're looking to see the types of items that we're selling on a consistent daily basis, you could check out this video here where it goes into more of what is selling in our store right now and you can check out what those items are selling for. Take care and have a blessed rest of the day.